Hello everybody, um, and welcome to part four, and I give up. Um, I made it A, B, C, so we might, we might as well continue with D. Another reason is I wanted to wear a different jersey, but they're all in the room where my girls are sleeping, and I just put them to sleep, I don't want to wake them up. I was wearing the new Greece jersey that I have, and I think it's fitting. Although there's no Greek team in group D, there is quite some blue in there, and most interestingly, Three teams are from leagues that I haven't even looked at so far, and I probably won't because this is a Champions League extra. Um, thanks to the weird uh, UEFA seeding procedure, which gives uh, champions a top spot in the seeding, we start off with Lokomotiv Moskva, which are supplied by Under Armour. Um, I don't think we see that many Under Armour kits these days. Um, and this is actually a decent effort. I like uh, the way it looks uh, red. Then you have just below the collar, the white with a little bit green uh, band across. I think this looks decent. It's a little bit reminiscent of the France 2000 jersey, but there the band would go much deeper. So the collar would be a lot deeper. Uh, but I think it fits with uh, the colors of the locomotive. If you look at the club crest, the red L, uh, Cyrillic L with the green locomotive coming out, I actually like the way this is done. I uh, also find the color, while not a standard color, quite interesting. And the sponsor is also not that uh, intrusive, fits well with the color scheme, with the white sleeve cuffs. Overall, I think a really decent effort. I think I'm very comfortable giving this nine stars, honestly. Um, the um, away kit in white um, is interesting in the sense that it uses the same template, but you can actually see the, you don't even see the color going down. It's just white. And then the bar across is in green and in red. Um, interesting look. For some reason, it doesn't connect with me as much as the other one. I wish that the Under Armour logo was not in black here. That's the first thing that kind of uh, pops in my head. If that one was red or even green, I think it would make more sense. Um, and it's not as interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to go on the six here. The home kit really has uh, the special something. The away kit, um, there's just a little bit missing. Um, although I like that they still have the bar, but make it a little bit, keep it as interesting as the home kit. That's what I wanted to say. Well, so with the Russians, we're done. Let's go to the second team, uh, equipped by New Balance. That's the other thing. We will see a lot of uh, non-big name spawn um, suppliers here. And we go to Portugal, to FC Porto, um, which of course, we are the classic blue and white striped kit. In this case, it's the mainly white, and then you have the big blue stripes down. Um, the template that they're using, or the striping, is um, recalling the winning jersey from 2004, mm, just in terms of the striping, not in terms of the overall design. Um, we, of course, have the New Balance stripes, but here they're actually the least bothersome of all the New Balance kits I've seen so far. I actually like that a little bit you can see that there's the a blue striping also on the sleeve, so that actually is done well. Um, and while I'm not crazy about the black color, uh, given that the sponsor is also black, it makes this uh, shirt connect and then you have the nice Porto crest. Um, it's not the greatest of Porto kits. I I know that uh, the two center stripes, kind of what I call Barcelona striping, is typically for Porto, but it's uh, not perfect here because it really seems like almost a little bit like a race car, a white race car with two blue uh, center stripes. Not as crazy, but uh, still could be a little bit better. But I think it's still a nice effort, so I want to give this uh, seven. Now, the away jersey has a very undefinable color. Um, nothing to do with Porto. It's gray with some yellow. Weird looking, honestly weird looking. Uh, and then, yeah, we have again this striping that I love so much, but uh, you know, it's the only accent here. This shirt is boring and the 
v-neck collar is kind of weird it gets wider uh, as we get closer to the center um, and yellow yeah i wish there was a little bit either white or blue it, it seems totally detached from porto and for all the boringness i think i want to give this three star this is a kit i honestly don't want to see that often although we already saw it when porto played at schalke and it's not a great kit However, I do like a lot the third kit, um, despite the monochromatic crest. But I really like the blue. It's a really nice shade of blue. Then even the monochromatic crest is a little bit lighter blue to make it pop. The lighter blue is, of course, again here on the shoulders. The collar is a really nice short collar. And then this overall pattern, I want to say it plays off the dragon nickname, although I don't see many dragons here. I was wondering if it's maybe a sea pattern because Portugal is a seafaring nation but and also Porto is known for port wine which basically probably one of my favorite alcoholic beverages beverages drinks so yeah so I could see something there too um, but I want to say this plays off the dragon correct me if I'm wrong I really like this one uh, I think Porto had a lot, great third kit as, as of late. They had the one with the dragon uh, star constellation. Now this one, uh, they're doing something right. I have to admit, Porto was never my absolute favorite team from Portugal. Uh, Black and white is Boa Vista Porto, but you know, of the th uh, three big, I don't know where I would actually go, but uh, it was not, ne not necessarily Porto, although they have a beautiful stadium, I, I know that, and they're probably the most successful team, but maybe they were a tad too successful. But yeah, I really like this one. I'm gonna go nine stars here, nine plus stars. I really, really like this one. Also the sponsor, it's just, you know, it's kind of this alpha, Greek alpha, although it's uh, uh, A, and then uh, just to let the, it, there's something nice about it. Well, I said there will be blue shirts. Let's go to the next team. Schalke with blue shirts. That's the bluest one. Actually, this jersey could have well been a Schalke kit if it wasn't. Um, I actually have to check that maybe in 2004 Schalke had a similar kit. <laughs> because it's easy. Just take this one and replace it with Schalke. That's exactly what we got here. But this is the first time that Schalke has an Umbro kit. They have had Adidas forever, but thanks to the new Adidas policy of getting rid of pretty much all the lower level teams, we are now having uh, Schalke with, excuse me, Schalke with a blue Umbro kit. And it looks very classic. I don't necessarily like the sleeves with the Umbro diamonds on there. I think I would love if they wrap around. Uh, but everything else looks really like a classic Schalke kit. Uh, we can always discuss the sponsor and then this nice overall print pattern with the two crossed hammers making reference to the mining culture. Um, I like that one. We reviewed it when I made the Bundesliga review. I gave this eight stars and I think I'll stick with it. Uh, and then we have the Away kit which is now also grayish with light blue applications. The color is a little bit of a mess, kind of almost like this color that just cut here. Uh, it does make some sense, but I think a Schalke Awaken should be white. And keep the royal blue. They're called in German the Königsblau, which means the royal blues. Keep that. Don't make. Don't get fancy. Make a light blue and then put your crest in uh, royal blue up there. That's what I don't like. I think I gave this a four star. And I go even worse with the third kit, which is this scarish yellow with navy blue. <sighs> Looks like a cash gap to me. I think what bugs me the most is with already the sleeve cuffs, the blue is not wrapping around the same thing here in the color. I really don't like it when, especially on a, such a clean v-neck, it just doesn't go all the way in the same color. I honestly don't get it. So yeah, this I gave a two star. And then we had the last team of this group, um, which is Galatasaray. And they got from Nike a classic, classic, almost classic Galatasaray kit. Why almost? Talk about it now. 
Uh, the classic Galatasaray kit should look the same from the front as from the back, and that's what they're not achieving yet. I think it's um, maybe they do. Maybe they do if I look at it here. I just doubt that the sleeves. I have to look this up. No, it does not. I got fooled by the sleeve on the back side of the shirt. So it's not the classic Galatasaray look. It is on the front, it is. We have the sleeves in opposite colors, and then on the yellow sleeve, we have the red part of the jersey. Oh, where the red sleeve is, we have the um, yellow part. So you have uh, that uh, correct. But on the back, it's an all yellow back. It's just the sleeves are, um, you know, the raglan sleeves uh, mixed. And then just on the bottom, you have the same pattern, but it's mirrored. So we have just uh, the red, which you see on the proper left, uh, stays on the back side also on that side. So yeah, it's not the super classic Galatasaray look, but it, this is actually hard to achieve. I, have to admit, because um, with all the regulations we have. What I actually do like is that even the color uh, is accentuated and plays with this pattern. So um, in that sense, it's a really nice look overall. I um, have the four stars across. Um, I'm sure there's a sponsor on there, but I haven't. Uh, but it will be in white, so I, I think it looks all right. I think overall, this is a pretty strong effort to give this um, yeah, I think I give this 8 star. Even the taping separates it on the back. So uh, it would be 9, if not 10, if that was um, the true Galatasaray look. But they, they cannot achieve here, and the back is a little bit too much of a mess. Um, the away jersey takes basically the Barcelona idea, but uses a black jersey, which looks actually uh, good. The only thing. I have to kind of complain about is that black does not contrast too well with the yellow and red kit, which is already a little bit dark. But I honestly like it, especially since one part has the yellow accents, the other part has the red accents. And the Galatasaray colors are pretty much the Roma colors as well, which are really nice colors together. Uh, I like the swoosh in red, and the crest has then the yellow stars on there. Uh, and the striping here on the side, and also the color. This actually looks really good. Um, in a way, yeah, I also give this eight stars. It looks in a way better than the home jersey, but since it's not contrasting well enough, uh, that's where the point deductions come. And then finally, we have the third jersey, which at first looks really weird until you know what the inspiration is. So we have a white jersey, finally. And we have a yellow band in the middle with a white crack. And at first you're wondering what uh, is going on here. Um, I also have to say all the other accents are in red, which really plays off well on the club's colors. Well, this zigzaggy pattern she is symbol should symbolize the Bosporus Strait. If you look at the satellite image of the Bosporus Strait, it does not look exactly like that. I tried to retrace it, and I somehow cannot get it. I think they could have done a better job there, but I still like the idea a lot. So uh, it makes for an interesting jersey uh, to look at, and one that actually sticks out a little bit, and that's always a good thing to have without being too overbearing and really doing its job, providing necessary contrast that the other two jerseys don't allow for. And for that, I'm also going to give this eight stars. I, I really like the Galatasaray kits a lot this season. Well, let me know what you thought about these uh, jerseys, whether you agree or disagree with my assessment of these. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And tomorrow we're going to look at Group E. And up until then, I'll talk to you soon.